Hi, welcome back to another Craig's World. My name's Craig. Welcome to Where Is My Madness. Well, today, I've got another van back. Um, this time it's a track rod end, which is just that. A very simple procedure, this, and it works on every vehicle out there. Not only a Transit, from BMWs to Audis, the, you all have this track rod end, and it's the end of your steering rack. You can always test if one's gone, because you might be able to see this wheel. Pretty close. There's a little wobble. <coughs> That's a track rod end, I've already test, test, checked it out. So this is my procedure of how you fix the track rod end. Right guys, I've, I have already just unloosened my wheel. I have already jacked it up. So, and don't forget when you jack the vehicle up sometimes with a transit or any vehicle I should say always use an axle stand that way if anything happens it's rested on the axle stand right now Right, the one that, that this, where this is, as you can see, that's where it fits. It's that. If I can do it, it may not do it because of that. You see that play? The play there, not allowed. <coughs> it will, it will make your wheels, or your tyres, I should say, um, work unevenly. So, what we have to do first, of all, clean a bit of crap up around this thread because this is just this is your steering arm. Undo this nut first, you've got a nut there, and then this is there's a nut on that. As you can see it's a thread. So we just need to uncrack that. Doesn't have to be much. We only just need to uncrack it. Main nuts are 22. That was 20. I And you know, may you always have a little nosy around just to make sure everything's a okay. Right, so it's anti clockwise, remember? Need some grips. 17. Even I. Even I forgot then, there's a little 15, which will go to the, there's, um, it's like a nut. And then, Strength, we'll get it off. Now, you don't want to move that far because I know that's a quarter of a turn. That will come apparent when we take this off. Oh, I rephrase it when this comes back. Now, this might get a little bit loud. If, if this won't do it, I will have to use my. Uh, there we go. So, 
because these are a little thrip, they've got the plastic at the top. Now, what a lot of people do and make a mistake here is they screw that back on. You can put it to a degree, to about the, just so you can still undo it by hand because if you tighten it back up, once this, because it's on a chamfer, pops out, that ball, because it's a ball in there, will spin and you have to sometimes, you, you just have to cut them. It's just as simple as that. Now there are two simple tools I've got at my arsenal in my workshop. One is this, to push it down. We'll give it a go if that doesn't work. It's like a little two ping prock, fork which goes in there, hit it and it'll separate it. Hopefully it should just go with this. Like that, push it straight down. And as you mentioned this, I now can undo it and that comes completely out and then this as you can see because we've undone that nut some people if it's there a lot of people actually <coughs> another way of doing this so it's perfect because these are all the same so from being up there you count how many rotations there are one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 17 and a half. Good, so that is, that's the bad one. As you can see how bad that is. Like if you get the new one, you can just barely barely push it so that's why you get that little wobble in the wheel so we said was it 17 and a half so we just do it in reverse order right. so it's just on so there's a half one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen 16 so this one's 16 because then you've got to crack that knot half back but you can only do that once this is back in i'm just going to make sure because last time i changed this i've hit the, the little ridge so slightly a small lip so I'm just going to get my little grinder just going to get my grinder just to clean that up Okay, so that's now all just been flattened off, which gives that a better surface as well for that to be bolted down to. So we'll turn your wheel over. Drive it. That's all right. And it does sometimes take a little bit of wiggling to get that there. Put that back in. And then you should see that pull up. Now, remember we had to do that just a nip of a turn.
you go. And that is how you change a track rod end. It's not very difficult. Basically, it was the nut was a 22, that was a 15, and that was an adjustable. And that you can do this by hand by a ratchet. You can do that, it's no problem, but just be careful. As I said, don't that's one of my top tips. Don't put the, the nut, don't just undo it there and then expect to hit it. You'd have to cut it off. So thank you for watching again guys. Stay safe and I hope you enjoyed.